All right, guys. So you see me smiling a little bit, right? That means I'm sort of kind of happy. I'm happy about where Dodge is going. 2025 Dodge Charger was just released. Let's just watch the uh, the video, the trailer, the release video together, and we'll go through it how we go through it, man. But you see that I'm smiling, right? And I think you will too. Let's get into it. Mmm. The scat pack. Look at the scat. Look at that scat pack badge, ladies and gentlemen. The scat will live on. I'm not gonna stop it anymore, I'm sorry. Let's get into it, I just got excited. that fake exhaust noise that you hear but you know whatever the combination is going to redefine what it means all four wheels all wheel drive to never lift and push the performance of this new look at that scat look at that b right there the scat lives on car beyond any conventional no prep muscle car but most people think electric cars are supposed to save the planet electric cars are supposed to be that's not a bad look from the back, man. I'm not going to lie to you. That is not a bad look at all. Looking at it in the silver, that's not a bad look. Silver with the gloss black um, uh, trimmings around the side of it and then the blacked out tint. I told you guys, when you black out the tent and you throw, you know, some little trimmings on it or something like that, it may not be that ugly of a car. Let's get into it. Be green and politically correct. So this thing must be super fit. Look at that front end. I love that little light bar up there. You know, that little, little, little uh, light that goes all the way around. Similar to the rear, but it's uh, up front and all white. That is going to distinguish a Charger a mile away. Like, you'll know it's a Charger a mile away when you see that. It's environmentally friendly, right? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. But that was never the point. The point was that they told us we couldn't sell Hemis. But they never told us that we had to be boring and slow. So they said that they couldn't sell Hemis. So apparently Department of Transportation or whoever the governing body is said that they can no longer sell V8s anymore. So we took the rules, found the gray areas, and used them. Used them against them to build a muscle car, to build a Dodge muscle car, and slide it under the wire that the regulators threw down in front of us like spike strips on a highway. Look, everything that is cool about this car, from the R-Wing design, it doesn't look like a typical battery electric melted jelly bean, to the 325 rear tires. To 325 rear tires, 325s in the rear. That's a true wide body right there. e rough transmission, and most importantly, the ultra high performance 550 kilowatt discharge rate. All look at that, that's not bad at all. That's not an ugly look. I think it needs to be lowered, and I think it needs some new uh, new rims, new wheels, but I mean, that's not a bad look. Work together to ensure maximum acceleration, but hurt efficiency. And normally, you would never do things like that. But when was the last time anyone calculated the fuel economy of their muscle car? Yeah, they never did. That's not why they bought it. Yeah. And that's not why anyone will buy the new Charger Daytona. They're going to buy it because of the stunning stop you in your track styling and the segment redefining performance. Yeah. The 400 volt scat pack Charger Daytona will put out over 670 horsepower. Did you hear what he said? 400 volt scat pack Daytona. 400 and uh... power and over 600 pound feet of infant Charger Daytona will put out over. They're going to buy it because of the stunning stop you in your track styling and the segment redefining performance. The 400 volt scat pack Charger Daytona will put out over 670 horsepower. 670 horsepower coming out of a 400 volt scat pack. 670 horsepower out of an all wheel drive scat pack. That's 400 volts if you do the math with conversion. All wheel drive 670 horsepower scat pack. And over 600 pound feet of infant torque transferred through a selectable all-wheel drive system. It's gonna out-accelerate today's red-eye supercharged V8. And I'm not- Specifically 
targeted the red eyes. So my car is, you know, beaten. Red eyes are beaten. Uh, I'm assuming jailbreaks too. Out accelerate. Uh, probably not top speed, but out accelerate. We've been talking about the 800 volt SRT Banshee system yet. So he's not going to release the information on the SRT Banshee. That's the big one. That's the 800 volt. But dig this. 400 volts is 670 horsepower. That's the scat pack, right? 400 volts is 670 horsepower. The SRT Banshee is going to be 800 volts. So, I mean, I don't know. Math-wise, can you just double that? Are we talking about 11, 1,200 horsepower? Wow. Look, the bottom line is... This is not the electric car that they want the Brotherhood to have. Yeah. This is a Dodge. This is an electric muscle car that will make the rule makers, the suits, and the lawyers wish they hadn't had a kale smoothie for lunch when they launched this thing. What's a kale smoothie? I don't really know. But you don't want one. Well, you will want... Look at the wheel. Wheel looks pretty straight, I guess. Interior is decent, you know. Um... I guess, cool. Is the Charger Daytona's game-changing interior. With more trick tech, it delivers best-in-class rear cargo space for the rear hatch and full okay. flat seats. You're gonna get muscle car design and UV-like cargo carrying capacity. Mm. The thing is amazing. But what could be even better than a muscle coupe with UV capability and the functionality ah, of Ah, four well, doors. Easy. A four-door with all that as well. Yes, the Charger Daytona will be available as a two-door coupe and the four-door sedan hatch. Two-door and a four-door. So we basically got a Challenger in the Charger. Both with the same wide body stance that will put the passive world on notice. And what else? So technically it's considered a wide body. What else puts the passive world on notice is our Fredsonic chambered exhaust system. It screams as loud as today's supercharged V8s. Whether you opt for the 496 horse RT or the six. So the RT is gonna be 496. Which is, like I said, that's a scat pack killer. All-wheel drive, 496 horsepower. You can kiss the scat packs goodbye. 170 horsepower scat pack. 670 horsepower scat pack. So that's your Hellcat right there. That's your Red Eye right there. All-wheel drive, 670. Get out of here. Or later, the SRT Banshee. SRT Banshee. 800 volts. The scat pack is 400 at 670 horsepower. The SRT Banshee is going to be 800 volts. That's easily, I mean, I don't know. I'm not a, a mathematician by any stretch of imagination, but 670 at 400 volts, what are we talking? And we're going to double that at 800 volts with the SRT Banshee? 11, 1200 horsepower? It's got to be a thousand plus because the Demon 170 was already a thousand. Every charger carries the Dodge Torch when it comes to touching all the senses. Look, I know most people don't know the history. They don't know that there actually were electric cars before gas cars. And don't know that you guys dedicated your lives to coming up with something better than battery electric vehicles over a hundred years ago. So you've got to be wondering why we've come full circle. Well, these electric Dodges are like time machines. They can take you back while launching you forward at the same time. This is more than a direct descendant of your origin story. It's a direct connection to the spirit of the past while powering this brand into tomorrow. Oh, oh yeah, that wasn't the sound of the Fratsonic chamber in the Banshee. That was the scream of the most power dense internal combustion engine that I just ever installed in a muscle car. Mm. In 2025, the all new Charger will also be available as a six pack with the twin turbo hurricane. Standard out. Twin turbo hurricane six pack. We talked about that. Foot hits the streets with 420 horsepower, and the HO spins the dyno to 550 horsepower. 420 horsepower all the way up to 520 horsepower for the six pack uh, twin turbo in line six. But these aren't old school engines. No, these hurricanes embody everything that we've learned about piston power since the doors of the Dodge Brothers shop first swung open. Twin turbos that perform like they're constantly spooled and a drive line that houses an eight-speed transmission and an all-wheel drive system standard. All-wheel drive, oh dodge. my God. So we also let you turn it off and tear it up like a traditional rear-wheel drive muscle car. And it's got rear-wheel drive mode, so you can you know, get sideways and kick up some smoke. This is what a brand can build when you're always building on a promise to never lift. This is what happens when you work to deliver never before again and again. This is the story of American ingenuity that runs from right now straight back to your shop, which is where we need to go.
because you've got work to do. A legacy to cement, to build a foundation, and a bridge to the future. All right, so that was pretty much it. Um, so how do you feel? Talk to me. Well, I mean, I'll talk to you. Um, I'm not going to lie. I am excited just to kind of feel the power, right? Pause. I just want to see how an all-wheel drive, 670 horsepower, electric, all electric muscle car feels with that instant torque all-wheel drive. I'm interested in feeling and, 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 you know, experiencing that, you know, having that experience to be real with you. That's something that I've never experienced. I've been in Teslas, but I mean, I don't know if any of the Teslas that I've ever set in were 600 plus horsepower. I've never set in a plaid, so I can't say that I've experienced that. 670 horsepower in an all wheel drive electric platform with that instant torque. You're beating everything. He specifically said you're beating red eyes. Now, I don't know if you're beating red eyes and demons on a perfectly prepped drag surface, you know. Uh, shout out to Demonology. You'll see him tearing up plaids and, and all, all kinds of Teslas in the Demon. And his Demon, even his old school Demon, the 840. I think he's got the Demon 170 now. So uh, he was smart to make it make the uh, comparison to the Red Eye and maybe not the Demon. But um, I mean, I, I'm not I'm not completely mad about it. Um, so let's start from the bottom and work our way up. We always talked about, you know, uh, the low end of the electric all the way up to the high end. So the low end is going to be the RT. So that's where it's going to start. And that was going to give you 495 horsepower, if I'm not mistaken. Let me go back. 496 horsepower for the RT and then 670 horsepower for the scat pack. Both of those are going to be all wheel drive platforms. They're both going to be electric platforms. You both are going to get that instant torque. So 495 or 496 goodbye scat packs as we know it. Um, 670 horsepower goodbye Hellcats and Hellcat Red Eyes as we know it. Um, and then of course, so do the math with me. The 670 horsepower scat pack is 400 volts the srt banshee which is supposed to be the big one is 800 volts so are we supposed to just take that 670 and double it essentially so at that point we're talking 12 1300 horsepower anything close to that is crazy from an all-wheel drive electric platform is crazy i can't imagine any tesla plaid keeping up with that now mind you i don't know what the horsepower numbers for tesla plaid are but I can't imagine them being at 13, 12, 1300. Now that makes perfect sense because if you think about it, the Demon 170 was right at a thousand and change. Um, so quite naturally, the SRT Banshee needs to be the biggest, most powerful of all of them. Um, 800 volts, I would assume it's going to be thousand plus easy, right? I think it's safe to say a thousand plus. We may not know whether it's 11, 12, 13, but a thousand plus safe to say. And the fact that another thing that they brought out that nobody was expecting was the fact that it's going to come in a sedan variant, right? So that honestly is your Charger and your Challenger, the Challenger and the two-door, and then the Charger and the four-door, right? And from what he explained, everything is going to be in that wide-body variant, variant as in 325s in the rear, no telling what's up front. He didn't specify. I'm assuming it can't be anything less than like 295s up front. You know what I'm saying? It's going to have that staggered look, which personally, I don't really like. I like the all all uh, wide body around, but you know that's just me. I just think it's easier to maintain an all um, you know a, a square uh, automobile as far as the tires are concerned, all the way around. But I do like the staggered fat boy look in the back. So 325s in the back. Um, it's going to come in the sedan variant as well as the two door. So that's your Charger and your Challenger, right? So if you Challenger guys out there that only love two doors. You got that for you Charger guys like myself that loves four doors. You got that as well. Big, huge trunk. It looks like the second row folds down, which is similar to Chargers and Challengers right now. Uh, what else did they say? Scat Pack emblem hasn't changed at all. I think that's the 1320 emblem. Correct me if I'm wrong. RT badge hasn't changed at all. You're going to get that R slash T like we did back in the day. Uh, no more Hellcat badges. No more Demon badges. The next one up is going to be that SRT Banshee badge, which is something totally different. Um... And then, of course, the six pack, man. So now let's get into the uh, ICE, uh, the internal combustion engines, that six pack, right? They're going to drop that six pack inline six twin turbo. That's going to be putting down what? Let me see here. Move up a little bit. What did he say? 
ionic chamber in the Banshee. That was the scream of the most power-dense internal combustion engine not just ever installed in a muscle car. Yeah. In 2025, the all-new Charger will also be available as a six-pack six with pack. the twin-turbo Hurricane. Standard output hits the streets with 420 horsepower. 420 horsepower standard output, so that's the low end. And the HO spins the dyno up to 550 horsepower. So you can go from 420 to 550 right in an inline six engine so if you're not completely sold on the whole electric dream you've got 420 or 460 and 520 i might have said that backwards again um so they're offering you uh the standard output the high output the rt and then the scat pack so they're giving you some options here uh if you're not completely sold on the electric stuff right there you can go all the way up to 520 horsepower with the six pack inline six twin turbo joint um, if you are completely sold on the electric dream, then that's when you can get into the RT and the scat pack and all that stuff. Uh, the six pack does not look to come with the RT or the scat pack badges. You're just going to get that six pack, which looks like it just comes on the hood of the car. You know, um, I think that that's cool. You know, um, you're offering a lot of variants. Dodge is offering a lot of options there. They're giving you the standard output and a high output six cylinder, right? In line six. And then they're giving you the RT, the Scat Pack, and then the SRT Banshee electric joints, right? Um, so obviously, uh, I guess the high output inline six fills that void between the Scat Pack at 490, and I'm sorry, uh, the RT at 490 and the Scat Pack at 670, right? So it's like right there in the middle. So the, the lowest of the lowest is gonna be the low output inline six, which is 400 and, I think you said 460 horsepower, then it's going to be the RT with the electric RT at 496. Then it's going to be the high output inline six, six pack at 520, 560. And then the scat pack 670 and then the SRT Banshee. So we're starting from 420 all the way up to possibly a thousand plus. Um, you're filling a lot of voids there, but at the end of the day, that's what Dodge has been doing in the past. I mean, they gave us the RT, they gave us the scat, um, then they gave us the first cat, first generation cat. Then they gave us the red eye. Then they gave us the jailbreak. Then they gave us the demon. Then they gave us the demon 170. So I guess they're sticking true to their roots, man. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. After seeing some of the shots of this car, at least in a different color, it's not the ugliest car I've ever seen. I got to keep it 100 with you. It's not the ugliest car. One thing that I did think that was interesting was the sedan look. Because the sedan look just looks like they just stretched it. You know what I'm saying? It looks like they just took the body of the two-door version and just stretched it. So I wasn't too big of a fan of that. But then again, once I see it in person, I'm sure I'll change my mind. This is, and all of my, uh, um, you know, uh, critique depends on how I see this thing in person. I've already seen it once in person and they had it in the octane red and it was absolutely gorgeous. But I think once I see it again in a different color and then of course in the four-door variant, I think I'll, 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 I'll grow to like it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is not the ugliest car in the world. It definitely needs some seasoning. You know what I'm saying? I don't like how jacked up it looks. It looks pretty hot as far as uh, suspension is concerned. So that's going to need to be dropped. Uh, I don't like the wheels on this at all. I don't even know if these are 20s. I would assume they are, but I don't like them. Um, black out the tent. Maybe throw some some uh, a stripe or something on it, right? So we can treat this like a Challenger body because the Challenger body was nothing but a square. So everything that people did with the Challenger, we can now do with the 2025 Charger. Ultimately, you just got to make it yours. You got to make it yours and you got to make it personal to you. Not the ugliest car in the world. I am, you know, somewhat excited about the future, man. I'm, I'm, I'm quite a bit excited, man. I'm pleasantly pleased right now with the future of Dodge, man. Because if the SRT Banshee is 800 volts and we don't know what that is but the scat pack is 400 volts at 670 and at 670 to the man's point to tim's point you're beating red eyes so you're beating all hellcats you know i i can't argue i mean it's one of those things where they got rid of the hemi they got rid of the hellcat but they gave you power 13 12 1100 horsepower in an electric joint all-wheel drive there's nothing that can beat you, like nothing. You don't have to worry about street tires, drag tires, none of that, nothing can beat you. You know, all wheel drive, a thousand plus horsepower, let's just say a thousand plus to be on the conservative side. Nothing can beat you. Lamborghinis, Teslas, Camaros, any Hellcat, any Demon, 
perfectly prepped surface, non-prepped surface, street tires, drag radials, nothing can beat you. You're winning everything. I mean, at the end of the day, Dodge gave us what we wanted. I mean, we used to complain that the RT wasn't powerful enough. Now it's 496 horsepower. We used to complain that the Scat Pack wasn't powerful enough. Now it's 670 horsepower. Some people complain that the Hellcat wasn't powered, what powerful enough. Well, now you got an SRT Banshee that's going to give you a thousand plus off the rip. All wheel drive too. A lot of people used to love that. Oh, the Hellcat would be the most dominant, most powerful car in the world if it was just all wheel drive. It's all wheel drive now. I mean, to be realistic here and to be honest, they gave us everything we asked for. All wheel drive platform, more power. They gave us a sedan and they gave us a coupe. What else can we ask for? It seems to me like Dodge checked off all the boxes, man. Um, no more V8. V8 is a thing of the past. One thing that he said that I found interesting was that, you know, he said they told him that they couldn't build, build Hemis anymore. So I'm assuming that's the government. I'm assuming the government dropped the gavel on them and said, hey, listen, no more V8s. No more V8s. No more Hemis. You can do V6. You can do inline six. You can do whatever the hell, whatever the hell you want with that platform. No more V8s. Uh, so that's why we are where we are right now. Um, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm excited. Talk to me. How do you feel about it? Sedan, coupe, 670 horsepower, scat, uh, 490 horsepower RT. You still got the twin turbo inline six, uh, standard output and high output joint six pack. What else did I miss? Scat pack emblems, RT emblems, SRT Banshee is going to be 800 volts. So take that scat pack and double it. Thousand plus horsepower SRT Banshee and it's all wheel drive. What more can you ask for, man? Talk to me. How do you feel about it, man? Talk to me. This is the future of Dodge, man. I think they came pretty hard. As hard as they could come for a uh, pulse. As hard as they could come for an electric car. I'm not upset at this at all. I am not upset at this at all. I want to see it in person for sure. But I'm not mad at this at all. I mean, I think Dodge will stay around for a little while. Talk to me. See you guys in the next one.